In this podcasting tutorial, I'm going to teach you how to add clickable episode timestamps to your podcast show notes to enable your listeners on your website to click a timestamp and be able to navigate to a specific part of your podcast episode. So here we have a previously published podcast episode from the podcast Spark of Rebellion. And I'm right here on the podcast website episode page. So you'll see that we've got the Captivate Embeddable podcast player here. We also have the show notes that have been added in to Captivate when I published this episode. And what I want to do is add clickable timestamps so that the listener can actually jump to these relevant places within the episode audio. So right now, we have some links out to external websites. So you may find yourself, if you're an interview podcast or perhaps you're talking about something solo and you mentioned something that is an external link, it's very typical for you in your show notes to have external links. But what we want to do is make it easy for people to navigate to the part of our audio where we actually start to discuss these actual stories or these topics or the particular things that we start to discuss during our episode. Luckily with Captivate, this is extremely easy. Flicking over to my Captivate admin panel, I simply go ahead and edit my episode. And of course, this works when it comes to publishing a new episode as well. So I go ahead right here and click on edit. And my show notes will appear and I can quickly edit these. Now, I know that my episode is one hour eight minutes and 15 seconds long, okay? So I know that we talk about Lego, the new Lego art that is being released. I know we talk about that at minute 11, about halfway through minute 11. So all I need to do is type in 11.30 and I can put a dash or I could put that in brackets or I could do what I wanted with that. I could put that inside square brackets if I wanted to. Whatever format you choose to wrap this in is completely fine. But all I need to do is make sure that that timestamp, that format remains the same. And that's very important. You've got the minute and the second with a colon in between. And if I go ahead and just copy that, and actually I want to put this Acme link in. And if I just say, well, we know we talk about that at minute 2150. And then here we talk about the Mandalorian at 35 37, so a minute 35, 37. And if we talk about Disney resetting Star Wars, we talk about that at 57, 43. And then all I need to do is update my episode. And of course, you can do this with publishing a brand new episode as well. So this doesn't just apply to editing episodes. It does apply to publishing episodes as well. Now that we've updated that episode, or indeed, of course, published a brand new one with timestamps in place, if we just jump back over to our episode and just refresh the page, what we are going to see is that those timestamps now exist. And look what's happened. They've actually automatically been turned into clickable links. And if I hit play on the Captivate player and then just click on a timestamp, you are going to see that they work absolutely wonderfully. Now, Captivate is intelligent enough to know that your episode is over an hour long. It knows exactly how long is remaining on your podcast episode. And of course, it knows what is a valid timestamp. So if you put a timestamp in that extends beyond the end of your podcast episode, Captivate is intelligent enough not to turn that into a clickable link because it knows that your episode simply isn't as long as the timestamp that you've added. Likewise, if you were to put in, for example, a number of seconds that wasn't valid, so you put something over 60 seconds in this second half of the formatted timestamp, Captivate wouldn't turn that into a clickable timestamp either because it would recognize there was something wrong with that. Clickable timestamps add a great layer of interaction and, of course, listener experience to your website. You can add clickable timestamps automatically using Captivate's automatic, built-in, pre-configured and very easy-to-use podcast websites, such as this one that you're viewing on screen now, but also you can use these clickable timestamps within Captivate Sync, our WordPress plugin that keeps your WordPress publishing process right there within WordPress. All you need to do is follow the same example that I just gave you. 
and Captivate Sync will add clickable timestamps to your WordPress website.